<laughs> oh, 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 oh. Be like, and our crowd's like, he's paralyzed. That's right. Oh, oh, oh. We be looking for his mother crying. Be like, that's right, lady. That's what you get for letting him out here with killers. He can't even wiggle his toes. Take his socks. Take his socks. And we would tie his socks around our helmet for the next week. Like the next team, they knew, oh, that's the team that be tying paralyzed niggas socks around their helmets to scare them next week. Welcome to my channel. Just to preface the uh, rest of this video to kind of give context to it. Humor is very important. When dark things happen, being able to laugh, not necessarily about them, but the aspect of them is a way to uh, be a therapeutic and um, cathartic way to, to heal from them. Anytime people get triggered by jokes, it's kind of cringe, but you know, it's understandable if you're, if you're, in a, if you're watching a comedy show and someone makes a joke about, you know, a disabled child, and you happen to have a disabled child, yeah, it could be triggering for you and funny for everyone else. And that goes for literally any type of joke or uh, making light of any situation. There's going to be people who find it funny and, a lot, and some people who don't, and that's completely okay. So when you see me giggling and laughing about a certain aspect of this video, it has nothing to do with the tragedy. The tragedy itself is awful, and my heart goes out to those affected. Secondly, you know, one of the saddest things that I have observed in my lifetime is the death of American patriotism. And if you don't live in America, that's fine, but it's important to have patriotism from the places you're from. And especially in a country like America, where the U.S. probably has more freedom and less restriction than anywhere else in the world. It just bothers me when you're criticizing a place that's allowing you to criticize it in the first place. Um, it's just kind of a weird, circular, stupidity thing that I just don't understand. But Russia don't play, and I think most of us knew Russia doesn't play around, and they don't really have the same protections and laws uh, for their citizens, it seems. Now, I understand that sometimes in America, when we apprehend a bad person or a, a criminal, they get a little roughed up sometimes, right? We've seen it, where sometimes criminals can die in police custody. Sometimes they have a, a scratch on their face or a black eye in their mugshot. It happens, you know, and it depends on the situation of resisting arrest and things like that. But it's rare that we just see people just getting paralyzed. Now, obviously, again, I know there have been instances where police gone way overboard and it's resulted in fatalities. I understand that. But when it's so blatant like this, um, I have no... No other reaction but just to laugh. And this is obviously about a crazy tragedy and I feel so bad for all the people affected. And look, there's a lot of hatred out there and it's so sad. Uh, whether it's religious, fanatical, radical, or it's just a person who is unstable and is, and is angry at the world or at a certain person or at people. And they go out and commit an atro like atrocity where not only are you hurting the person that you, or the people that you don't like, you're hurting the hundreds of possibly thousands of people connected directly to that person when it's siblings uh relatives parents grandparents i mean the amount of people that are affected in this rippled across just by hurting one person an innocent person is is, is amazing and it also ripples throughout the entire world because it's on social media or it's on the news and we can see it even though we're not connected to them but when you see something like this you know, it's almost like those pros and cons of American justice and American protection for its citizens, whether or not you're a criminal, you know, uh, innocent until proven guilty, you are still protected even when guilty. In some instances, obviously you go to prison and some people might try and take you out there. But as far as being in custody, for the most part, you're protected, no matter how awful your crimes are. Um, and that's if you get into custody. If you have a shootout, that's different. I think. Man, I wish our justice system, or I wish when we capture evil criminals, that this would be the outcome. But at the same time, and I would love to know what you guys think of how this was handled and what you think about 
this type of justice, this swift type of justice before they're even in trial and um, proven to be guilty criminals, no matter how obvious it is, there is a uh, there should be a process, a due process to uh, criminals or presumed criminals, and they should have all their rights intact. But sometimes you see these things and you're like, man, be, that would be cooler. Um, because sometimes you feel like criminals don't suffer enough. Now, the problem is, the con to that, is sometimes innocent people get arrested. And you cannot torture and beat innocent people to death, almost to death, uh, without due process. Because you have to make sure that's the, you know, that's the right criminal. And even then, after that, uh, sometimes just suffering in a prison for a long time is more than just a physical punishment it's a mental punishment it's an emotional punishment right it's a it's a personal hell that you're stuck in but i saw this and i just wanted to comment on it now i know it was a little while ago and i just didn't want to comment on it right away just because it was so fresh but tell me what you guys think of the justice here and um what, just what you generally think on what happened to these guys or what you really do think happened was it like a resisting arrest type thing or was this just police in Russia taking matters into their own hands obviously if you do not know through some miracle these were the three suspects and there's footage of it and if I suggest you don't watch it just because it's such a terrible thing you cannot unsee certain footage so I never uh, want to encourage anybody to see any type of graphic footage these three suspects were a part of the, the mass shooting in the concert hall in uh, Russia and that killed I think from the last what I saw with like 40 people or um, I could be wrong on the numbers, but a lot of people, a lot of innocent people were murdered. There's kind of a moral dilemma here. Now I want you to tell me what you think about the justice that you see damages that occurred to these men, um, even if they're guilty or not. Let's just see. We were brought to a Moscow courthouse uh, on the way Sunday this, quite late this evening, being Casey, held is and very have now been taken into pre-trial like custody. All four of them arriving uh, very <laughs> clearly in very... You can see the guy next to me, right? He's definitely... He looks like he's taking a nap. You see the guy in the top right there? He's definitely got a shiner on both eyes. His cheek looks beaten on that side, beaten on this side. His lip looks a little swollen there. He... Is holding his wrist almost like his wrist is broken maybe they stepped on it you can see the hand that's over the wrist is swollen so there's definitely some you know could be resisting arrest maybe they really fought back and for some reason they're all wearing adidas track suits is that just to identify each other you know maybe they went shopping at the same time i have no idea why they're all wearing adidas it's weird um we see the guy on the left he's just not even opening his eyes he's just his hand looks like it's broken they probably got kicked in the nuts a couple times He's holding his cheek, his jaw might be broken, it's very swollen. Um, his nose looks broken. And uh, yeah, he's just in bad shape as well. The guy in the bottom right had the bandage around his head. I think he was the first one being walked in, I could be wrong. But his whole face is just swollen. So these guys were definitely uh, beaten to a pulp. You can even see his, his left hand and right hands um, are really, really swollen. His left hand especially is super swollen. Now the guy in the bottom left is uh looks like he's taking a nap so let's just take a look closer varying states of injury bruises to the face one had a bandage to the side of the head one arrived in a wheelchair and a sort of hospital gown oh fuck me man look at this guy he's he can't move his eyes are open he's looking he his nose is broken um he's he's got some scratches on his face and uh, puffiness on his right cheek I don't think he can Basically move. unresponsive. Now, CNN has just asked the Kremlin about their condition yeah, and about videos that, that have surfaced right online, suggesting that they may have been tortured. Very resounding they may have comment. Been. The Kremlin spokesperson. There's no proof that they've been tortured. Um, what do you guys think about how Russia handles their criminals? Now, again, my only concern is that sometimes you might arrest somebody that might fit a description, might have been in a certain area during a, a, a situation, and they're innocent. And you can't just beat and torture people every time they get arrested or are suspected of a crime. That's just evil, right? You, you, you know, there's, as we've seen on Netflix shows and on, on internet articles and people who have been exonerated, dozens of people who have been exonerated by DNA, recent DNA analysis on cold cases, we see that a lot of innocent people go to prison or go to jail or get arrested or go to trial. And then whether exonerated or, or they end up serving time it happens they're in a, a mass shooting and you don't want to grab the wrong person just because they look arab or something and then torture them and then you realize uh oh 
we did this to the wrong guy. Let's kind of cover this up because it is Russia and I doubt there's a lot of um, human rights issues are solved in Russia. But I just want to know what your opinion is. Do you think this type of thing, if you know criminals are guilty and they create such an atrocity or they cause such an atrocity, should, you know, would you condone something like this? Or do you feel like, no, no matter what they've done, you have to still secure their rights. You have to go through due process, even if you know they're guilty. I don't know. Just thought this was interesting. Just wanted to know what your opinions were. Please comment below. Thank you for checking out my channel. There's going to be more videos coming up soon. Been working a lot, 11 hours a day, so I didn't have a lot of time. Um, but now that I have some time, I'm going to make some more videos. And I hope you guys have been enjoying. Thank you guys so much for subscribing for the recent subscribers or commenters and viewers. And if you're just lurking or you don't like this channel when you stopped by, I appreciate the visit anyway. And hopefully I can earn a sub from you in the future. Maybe I could turn you around. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye, nerds.